What's up, everybody? This is your boy, AC, and I'm back with another breaking news edition of LA Sports Live. You guys see the thumbnail. You see the title. Let's get straight to it. The Lakers have commenced their search for their newest head coach. I repeat, the Lakers have started interviews for their newest head coach. According to reports, James Borrego of the Pelicans, I believe, former coach of uh, Anthony Davis when he was down in New Orleans, he has been interviewed. Sam Cassell, Sam E.T. Cassell, no disrespect, <laughs> <laughs> but he's interviewed with the Lakers as well. And, of course, uh, included in the first round of interviews, the, the, the front runner for the position, the guy that most people think is going to get the job, J.J. Redick, has interviewed uh, as well. I repeat, the Lakers have already interviewed J.J. Uh, Redick. Now, here's a little something that came out, a little bit of news on the situation involving J.J. Uh, the Lakers want a coach for the long term and the short term. Short term meaning to manage LeBron James and Anthony Davis to uh, get a control of that locker room and to get respect of the players. Long term meaning uh, having the ability to cultivate and develop younger players post LeBron James and maybe even post Anthony Davis. They did mention, according to reports, they want a coach that will be here for 10 years. Um, so that's definitely long term. But here's the situation. Uh, here's the thing that's that's come out. And this is actually something I thought about it. Uh, you guys tell me what you think about it in the comments below. The Lakers want a coach that's aesthetically pleasing. I repeat, the Lakers want a coach that is aesthetically pleasing. They want a coach that could fit the Hollywood and glitz and glamour of coaching the L.A. Lakers. But also a coach, like I said, that could command the locker room. And also a coach that has the, the extensive cachet of being a player. Not only in college, but in, in, in the pros as possible. And, and J.J. definitely does have that in his resume. He doesn't have coaching experience in his resume, but sometimes that doesn't matter, man. Because, hey, they've linked him. they linked him to Pat Riley. And we all know that Pat Riley didn't really have an extensive... He, he didn't have any coaching experience at all when he came to the Lakers. He came out the broadcast booth. So, it's interesting they tie him to... Pat Riley, we'll see what happens. I'm out of here.